Hi, this is Chase from CNC Commentaries, and today we're going to be recording another random Shatter Podcast, episode number two, and I'm here with my special guest. Your mom. I'm here with my mom. Joking. It's Marco. Alright, and this is just going to be us talking about whatever we want for a certain amount of time. So, uh, we're recording this very late, so if we sound tired, you know why now. Um, we just finished rec- recording a uh, Catch Me If You Can commentary that'll be going up later. And it, it was your first time watching it, right? Yep. What did you think? It's a good movie. What was your favorite part? I like when... I like when he, he got all that money from on top of the bed. I got millions of dollars. Okay. Um. So how's life going? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to talk about? School's boring. Oh, I know, man. Don't get me started on that. It's just like I don't know, man. Like it's just so boring. I just want to fall asleep all the time. I fell asleep in a class. Last class? year I fell asleep in my math class and I have a and last oh. year I had a guide teacher. Mm-hmm. Fell asleep in math class and I wake up and the lights are off because they were doing a presentation, right? Mm-hmm. I wake up and I'm thinking, mm, my bed's so comfy. <laughs> and then I was like, and then I hear him talking. I was like, oh no, there's some guy in the house. <laughs> oh, I wake up, I wake up and like I start and then I stand up and then I sit back down and I'm in my class. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah, I've only fallen asleep in school, like, once, and that was, like, in third grade. But it was just cause the teacher let me go, because I had, like, a headache. Yeah, if I'm tired, I'll just be like, can I go to the nurse and take a nap? Yeah. Or, like, even if you just want to get out of school a little bit. I'm, like, oh, I'm sick. Yeah. But, yeah, but my, like, current math teacher, she's such a bitch. Well, math... Teacher and I have a second period. We don't do nothing. Like her class isn't very engaging. I could literally sit in the back of the classroom the whole period playing video games. Yeah, for mine, it's just like it's my class is like so far behind on everything because the kids are retarded and like don't pay attention and do shit. And so like I get bored, right? Yeah. And so and but then she'll get mad at me for like talking or going on a Chromebook. I'm like, can you can you blame me? Really? And you're boring us to death and being a bitch. Yeah. Right, first period teacher, I hate her. She's uh, English, and she's so annoying. She looks like she has a rash. She walks <laughs> like she's the worst rash ever. She's, uh, uh, uh. I was, I was, uh, I was in PE, and, um, and, a PE teacher told me to go sit somewhere else. We were like we were on the field, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to get up and walk, so I just rolled across the grass like on the floor, and then like I I came home, I was like so itchy and like red spots. Yeah, so, uh, I just hate it. Um, what else? Um, what what are some movies you would want to do future commentaries on? Now write a. I'll write them down, and that way we'll have ideas of stuff we can do. Shrek. You want to do Shrek? We'll, no. we'll just do all the Shreks. Hey, hold on. Let me get my book. I'll write it out. What should we do? Okay. I don't know. What do you think's good? Yeah, and also, you, a good do, movie you, you guys can leave us comments of uh, stuff you want us to do. We'll always take It'll it. be in the description below. What? I don't know. Just leave, I just wanted to say leave, leave comments of stuff you want us to do. Right, I'll add your name to the book of special. All the sh- I'm just gonna put all the Shrek movies. Um, I I don't like the first Shrek movie, and I don't remember the second one. The third one's alright, and I don't. I think I don't know if I've seen the fourth one. But from Shrek, you get like you get you get 
Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Go. And there was Shrek the Halls. They had like a Christmas thing. And then you have Puss and Boots. <laughs> I like well, the. I like the one with the midget guy. I haven't seen that. Rubble Silt skin? Yeah. yeah. I think that's the fourth one. Yeah. We're gonna get, what else? Other movies should we do? Star Wars. Well, I. Yeah, I, I have all the Star Wars on DVD. Star Wars. Did you see the new one? The Last Jedi? Um, I don't think I saw that one. No? No. Yeah, I thought it was alright. I don't think it was as good as Force Awakens, though. But yeah. I don't want to spoil it for you. Isn't that the one where, uh, the... Kylo Ren, like, kills the Master? The Grand the Grandmaster? In which one? Force Awakens or The Last Jedi? The new one, The Last Jedi. Uh... Didn't Kylo Ren kill him? Who... The Kylo Ren. Yeah, I know who. Kill who? Kill the, like, the Supreme. Oh, Snoke? Yeah. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Star Wars, but I guess. Then I have, have seen I it. guess if by now you haven't seen Star Wars right now and you really don't care. But Snoke dies and so does a girl. <laughs> yeah, totally. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. More like wank, wank. Oh my god. That wasn't even a good joke. That yeah, was we were doing I was doing this with friends and then we were talking and then they did some a girl did someone one of them and then they said something like they don't like this and then I was like, Yeah, wink wink and my friend said, No, wank wank Yeah. Um, also that it'll be going up on the channel eventually sometime soon are two new reviews, one for, um, Game Night, one for Ready Player One, and I'm also going to be having a video going out of all Wes Anderson movies ranked. You ever seen a Wes Anderson movie, Marco? Mm -mm. He did Grand Budapest Hotel, Moonrise Kingdom, Fantastic Mr. Fox. He's got a new movie coming out called Isle of Dogs. It looks pretty good. I really like his movies. We'll have to watch some of those sometime. Alright. Yeah, because I have like, I have them all on DVD. I think the only one I don't know on DVD right now is Life Aquatic. But either, that's because that one's on Netflix. Sleep. Watch, I'm gonna go to sleep. You ready? Yeah. And now we listen to Marco sleep in his natural habitat. Ali oh. Agwag. <laughs> oh my god. Anything else you want me to put for suggestions? Um, let's put Infinity Wars. Well, we can't do that. That hasn't even come out in theaters. We well, do. film it. Just use your phone. Just film it. <laughs> That's against the law. As long as we don't make any money off of it. No, oh, that's too complicated for me to do. Alright, I'll do it. Just give me your phone. No, you do it your own. Uh, Alright, I need a nice camera. You know what? <laughs> You're just gonna smuggle a giant camera in. <laughs> Set up a freaking tripod in the yeah, back of the theater. I, I need a time machine. Uh, just uh, get a DeLorean and turn it into a time machine. Wait, a DeLorean is a time machine. In Back to the Future. I could just go back to the future. A DeLorean's a car. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know you but know I'll go to, we've, we've seen Back uh, to the Future together. I'll go into the movie. Then I'll get the DeLorean. I'll go out of the movie with the DeLorean. And then I'll go to the future. 
get the movie, come back to the future, and sell it. And then we're going to make a movie about you going into Back to the Future oh to get the DeLorean to go to the future to get Avengers Infinity War going back to the future to do a commentary of it before it comes out. Yeah. Mic drop. Pretty much. Um, give, um, name a random topic we should talk about. Sports. Oh boy, sports. Something I know so much about. Uh, what do you want to talk about with sports? I have no idea. Then why the fuck did you bring it up? Because you said a random thing. That's random. Okay, Marco, what did you have for lunch yesterday? I have no idea. What did you have for lunch today? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Yeah, I gave one to my friend Jesse. What type of chicken nuggets? Like just chicken nuggets. <laughs> the chicken type of chicken nuggets. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I think I had a salad. Oh, no, yesterday I had pizza. Oh, I had pizza yesterday, too. Stop copying me. Well, I can't help what they serve at the schools. <laughs> you can always help what they serve at the schools. Wait, Eddie. Or, Chase, is one of the pop out hats? One of the, ma the magician's hats with the compartment? Oh, yeah. Okay, how about this? If you could go into any movie. Like, live inside any movie, what would it be? What movie? Any movie? Yeah, any movie. Jumanji. Jumanji. Rock. Why, you wanna fucking die? I have three lives. Well, I know, but once you got three lives, you're dead. Oh, you're right. Okay, let me choose another one. Okay, what would you choose? I gotta think. Live in any movie? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll do Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Fifty Shades Freed. We're gonna have to watch the whole trilogy, get it on DVD, and then watch the whole trilogy. I probably wouldn't watch it. If, if, yeah, if we got like 100 subscribers. How many subscribers do you have? I think I got like twenty seven. Be a lot. Yeah, I got a decent, decent amount. Oh. Do you know it's you're gonna you're gonna be like good mythical morning? I don't, I don't know about that. It's, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm almost to a year of since we created the channel. Not since like, but like that's hard because like I I don't post videos every day. But yeah, the last, the first video we published, it was like on, I don't know, like a couple, months. like not, I don't know, like a good amount. Like a it was, minute. It was like it was July fourteenth, two thousand seventeen. So once we hit July fourteenth again, then that'll be one year of the channel being created. And when Damn. our first video came out, which was our Ghostbusters commentary. Let's see, if you could have, oh wait, I didn't answer what I would choose. I don't know, Back to the Future would be kind of cool to live in, except you gotta be worried about not fucking up the future or the past. I'm gonna go to the future to see what happens to me. Yeah, but then you could fuck it up. I'd have someone else see what happens to me. And then I'd say, is it good or bad? If it's bad, I'd fix it. If it's good, I'd... You know, leave it how it is. Yeah, I think I would probably just. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, you know, you wouldn't want to be in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Everybody dies. Eaten by a dinosaur. And then, like, if you were a superhero, you'd have to save the world and shit. I'd be the Flash. The new Flash? Did you see Justice League? Yeah. What did you think? 
it was pretty good, but in some parts it looks super CGI. You know yeah, what? Yeah, the the villain. It was because no, when Superman fighting the villain because when they were making that movie, a Superman had a beard or a, he had a mustache. Yeah, for and, another TV. And they had to C- CG it out because he had had the mustache for Mr. Mission Impossible Six, I think. And and they didn't want him to look like Superman. So. Yeah. They had the contract that he had to keep the mustache, and so he, it was a CGI mustache debate thing. Yeah. I don't know what one might live in. Maybe it'll just live in like Pretty this. background music. What? No, you can't play that. Why not? Because I don't know, it might be like copyright and shit. I don't know. It might be cool to live on the side of, like, Inception. Ready Player One. Did you see that? I mm. saw it. My mom read the book, and she said, there's so much inappropriate stuff in here. We are not going to watch the movie. The movie wasn't inappropriate. It had a few curse words, but it, it was not inappropriate. There was, like, a naked lady in the Shining sequence, but you just saw her butt. And everyone has a butt. We all know that. I hope. <laughs> you hope everyone knows that you have a butt. But yeah, I think it would be cool to live in Inception. Because like you could go in people's dreams. And go in like your own dreams. That'd be pretty cool. Like imagine just going inside some dreams. It's like... And who, who knows what type of dreams you have, Marco? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, what's your favorite breakfast food? Ooh, I like a chorizo burrito mm-hmm. with beans, eggs, and some salsa. Yeah. I like a good, like, homemade waffle, Belgian waffle, some bacon. And, you know, I'm always a fan of toast. Okay, Marco, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Mm. Ever. Ever? Yeah. Mm. What could be the worst movie I've ever seen? Like a movie where you were like watching it and you're like, this is a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. Shite. <laughs> are, are there any new movies coming out that you really want to see? No. Besides like the big ones, like, uh, well, you want, I know you want to see Avengers Infinity War. Infinity? Who doesn't? (gasps) Let's make predictions right now. Who do you think is going to die? Because you know someone's going to have to die. Thanos isn't going to die because they need him for Infinity War 2, so it's obvious. Okay, but like, who do you think is going to die? Because someone's going to have to die at least, right? Yeah, at least one person. Should we... Do you want to make bets right now and see if we can guess before it comes out who we think is going to die? Well, who do you think's gonna die? I don't know. If I think it's anyone, it's gonna be, um, Tony. Tony Stark? Yeah. Why? I well, hate that guy. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be good? Well, no, because if you think about it, it all started with Iron Man. And then it's been leading up to Avengers Affinity War. So it'd be, like, kind of the perfect way to end it out. By killing him. I hate how when they kill superheroes, like, they kills. Or, like, when they say they kill superheroes, but then they come back. Yeah. Like, like they just kill them in general. Like, what's the point of killing them if they're just gonna come back? Although, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this movie, if you haven't seen Logan, but, like, when when Logan died in, in Logan... That was actually pretty heart heartfelt and sad. I know, I was sad. It's like, just... you felt for that. Yeah, I was and mad also. And also, per, also uh, Professor X. 
Yeah. Like, you felt for... So that... And also... I just... Also, Yondu a little bit in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, because then he too. saved his... Yeah, Peter's life. Yeah, yeah. That was when we went to go see the movie. Yeah, we saw it in a double feature. Yeah, and we got and those two. buttons. I, I still have them. Wait, hold on. I have mine, too. Wait, keep talking. All right, I'm going to see if I can find them. That lucky person got that free t-shirt, too. Yeah. I have one of them. The other one's probably in there. Mine are in my mom's car. I don't know why. I think I left them in my mom's car. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. Get out of my car. Oh. Yeah, but... um, Yeah, we saw that in a double feature. And we got five guys. Yeah. You know, in and out's really unhealthy. What, five guys? No, in and out. You're wearing an in and out shirt. The listeners can't see this, but yeah. That doesn't mean it's not good. It's unhealthy. It has like, like their milkshakes aren't even real milk. It's vanilla. Isn't it crazy how they make those? My my theory, my things. How did they? A little bit of harmonica for y'all. How did they make it so you could blow on it and then to make a sound? Like, I how? I don't fucking know science. <laughs> That's the question. Well, it's how? just like you blow on it. In and it then it, or like, on it? it go, you go in it. And then, like, I don't know, it just reverberates off of the thing, probably. And makes a noise. I can make the noise. That just sounds like you going. Um, I don't know. What are some commentaries we should record later or tomorrow? Give listeners a sneak peek. Well, this is probably going to come out um, after the Catch Me If You Can one, and this is probably going to come out tomorrow. What? This recording right now. It's like you didn't even know you were being recorded right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Great. Mo- Mo- ha- ha- ha. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. What? They don't know what you're talking about. I was talking about a chicken nugget flying through the air. But it was just burnt. It was my eyes this evening. Potato flying. A burrito flew around my room before it came to me. What are your two favorite foods? Burrito. And? Chicken nugget. Okay, if you could only eat one or the other for the rest of your life. Well, if you could only eat one of those and get rid of the other, which would it be a burrito or chicken nuggets? I'd have to get rid of chicken nuggets. Dun, dun, dun. Chicken nuggets. The nugget. Nugget, 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 nugget. And now the end is near. Um. Did you... I doubt that you saw any of these, but did you see any of the... Best Picture nominees for 2017. Like The Shape of Water. No. No. Do you know what that's about? No. Wait, you said you saw Dunkirk, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. And did you see Get Out? What's that? It's a horror movie. It's pretty good. We could do a commentary for that. I would love to see a reaction to that, because that fucking... But yeah, Shape of Water is about this lady and this fish creature, and then she fucks the fish. What? It's it's a lot better than it sounds.
But yeah. What else do you want to talk about? That's not even good. What? Fish fucking... <laughs> what? Fish fucking a fish? How would you even do that? Stick it in the gills. Marco, if you had to for a million dollars, would you fuck a fish? No, why? For a million dollars. I would kill myself. But you're gonna get a million dollars. I'd kill myself. So you'd kill yourself after you got the million dollars? No, I'd kill myself before I fucked the fish. But it's just for like a couple seconds. And no one will know about it except you and the person giving you the money. And then you can just, like, kill the fish and make sushi out of it. Although, you might not want to do that, depending on if your fluids got inside of it. Yeah, I know it'd be weird, but you're getting a million dollars. That's like saying, would you eat a dog for a million dollars? Would you? You already eat it for I know, but I'm saying you. No. You're like a little puppy. Did you eat a little puppy. Bulls in some in some places, bulls, balls, or delicacy. Would you eat one? It depends how much I'm being paid. It's for free. No, not for free. For, you huh? have to no. Probably bulls for balls? like fifty thousand oh, dollars. Bulls maybe. balls or like bulls balls. <laughs> Try saying thinking. that three times fast. It's a delicacy. You have to pay like a hundred dollars for one. Jeez, like, that's yeah, that's a lot of money. Fifty. I don't know. No, but like, say it was like your childhood puppy, right? Well, that's not a mess. Not a childhood puppy, okay? And then someone's like, "I'll give you five million dollars if you eat your puppy." Would you do it? No? Mm. Five million dollars. How much do I have to eat? You gotta just... They're gonna cut him up, and they're gonna serve him like a steak. How much do I have to eat? Just like a steak amount. That's a lot. It's five million dollars. That's a little. And then... But you're not gonna see like the head. How much would it take for you to? How much money would it take for you to eat dog testicles? It's like you gotta eat both of them. Just both of them. That's just bad. Well, I know it's bad. That's why I'm giving you these hard. Would you rat or hard? Would like? Would you do it? Or, okay, how about this? Would you rather eat a dog or eat a cat? Hmm? I don't know. Both really gross. I don't think you'd want to eat a cat because, like, it probably gets stuck in your throat with all that hair. That's just my thinking. Okay, what would be the weirdest thing you would eat? The weirdest thing okay, I eat? Okay, okay, how about this? A worm. Okay, how about this? Would you rather eat a human or a little puppy dog? Puppy dog. I'm not trying to be cannibal. I'd rather be Asian. <laughs> You're gonna turn into Hannibal Lecter. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice can tea. <laughs> so, 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 like, you're, you're gonna eat the dog. But, like, you could have any sides that you want with it. You could have, like, french fries with it. But the dog is just being served like a steak. You could have it medium rare if you want. That's so gross.
I know it's gross, but you're getting five million dollars. Okay, what about this? What if you weren't told that it was dog? That'd be different. And you just like, well, they were like, what if they were just like, you were at a restaurant, and they were like, sir, this is a very, um, this is a very exquisite type of meat that we serve, the steak, and it will be served medium rare with some nice Chardonnay and French fries. Yes, because rich people eat French fries. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. Like, for everyone likes French fries. Like, how often have you had a bad French fry? Every day. Or serious? No, I'm just kidding. Like, well, you like, hardly never have a bad french fry. Bro, when I came, I almost got my Xbox. I think. <laughs> Did I just put my Xbox in the bag and take it? My brother has an Xbox. Whenever someone tells me to eat vegetables, I'm like, alright, go get me some french fries. <laughs> you like baked potatoes? Those look so good. Like, how do you like your baked potatoes, Dom? Like, I like them baked. No. Yes. You like your baked potatoes baked? Yes, it's the only way you can have them. Who'd have who'd thunk it? I have thunk it. No, like, do you like it with, like, butter? Butter, bacon, mm. everything. The whole shebang? The whole ten, the, ten the, Like, the whole shebang. The whole 30 years. 30 yards? Yeah, not 20, not 10. 30. 30. That's, a, that's a lot 30 of yards. 30 dirty. 30 dirty yards? Oh my god. Yeah. What about mashed potatoes? Those are good. With butter? Yeah. Butter or no butter? Butter makes everything that better. That is the question. To be, wait no, butter or no butter? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind. No, we're not doing Shakespeare right now. You know what movie I think we should do a commentary for? Space Jam. <laughs> oh Jesus, Dad. Space Jam? <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Space Jam, come on, slam! <sighs> Alright, Marco. I think we're gonna call this episode an end. Is there anything else you want to say before we say goodbye to the lovely people listening to oh, this? Oh, San Francisco. What? I don't know. What, what do you want to say? I say, nice to meet you. I will see you later. <laughs> okay, then. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. I've been Chase. He's been Marco. If you like this video, then um, like comment down below what you want to see more of on the channel. More commentaries, reviews, etc. More of these where we just talk. Um, thank you so much for listening. Bye. Bye.